so this video, video might be slightly crooked, but we're gonna have to go with it. Hello and welcome back fellow reading warriors to my channel, where today's video I'm gonna talk about the different books I'll be bringing to college with me for the first semester-ish. My plan is to bring a few books to college and then when I go back home for Thanksgiving I'm gonna switch them out, the ones I've read for some new ones or ones I didn't end up liking or reading and just switching them out for some other ones. So a lot of the books I'm bringing with me are going to be a little bit more in preparation for Halloween and they're gonna be like mystery slash I also just need to read them and I think they'd be really cool to read during the fall time. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today. Let's get started. So the first book that I'm gonna bring to college with me is a classic and it is a mystery and it is Murder on the Orient Express and other works by Agatha Christie. I'm bringing this with me, like I said, because it's a mystery, a murder mystery, which is great for October. It's also a classic that I haven't read, which in my opinion needs to change because I do love reading classics. I am hoping to start a classics club or at least join some sort of on-campus book club on campus and so I'm really hoping that I can read this and talk to some people about it. The next one that I will be bringing along is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Menestikalko. Uh, I'm, again, it's October, Stalking Jack the Ripper it has a very like spooky vibe to it. Um, it's also recently released and I've been really excited to read it. I've heard a lot of good things about it both on booktube and just from other people. So I kind of figured that um, I really wanted to read this and it kind of gets me going into historical fiction a little bit more which I've been wanting to read a lot more lately. So Stalking Jack the Ripper I think is just great for the fall horror of Halloween and yeah. Uh, the third book that I'll be bringing to college with me is As Old As Time, which is a twisted tale by Liz Braswell. I recently read the Sleeping Beauty version, Once Upon a Dream, and I actually have started reading this one, but I haven't quite finished it yet. I am bringing this to college because I want to finish it and I want to slowly work through these twisted tales. I'm hoping that it'll be a comfort in college if I'm ever like super stressed out, but it's still something new to read, so it's not like I'm doing anything repetitive. I also plan on taking Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, a lot of these books were in my recent haul, I do recognize that, but that's because I want to actually read the books that I buy, and so I haven't actually read Frankenstein, and I definitely need to. And again, it's a perfect classic for Halloween. You really can't get more perfect than this other than Dracula, which I also recently bought but will not be taking to college with me just because I don't know how much time I'm actually going to have to read all these books. I do have five or six or seven books that I hope to bring with me to college and I just don't know if I'm actually going to be able to read them within the first semester, but I'm going to do my best. Luckily, Frankenstein is short, so I will for sure read this during the month of October and still get my homework done. Yeah, so this is for sure one that I'm going to bring to college and make sure I read even if there are others that I'm bringing that I don't read. Because it's a classic, it's perfect for Halloween, and it looks pretty. I will also be bringing The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Azad to college with me because this is a recent purchase that I've been really, really excited about reading. I've just gotten really into it, just even without reading it, just being excited because it's a beautiful cover, but also the description of it sounds really good. Um, and I've also been trying to read more about like Middle East mythology and just history about them because I don't really read a lot of it and I think I really need to read more of it, especially being like an Arabic major. Like, I should know a few things and so even though it is a fantasy book, it does have those basis of the fact that it's in Iran and it's all about the jinn and so I'm really excited to read it because I love stories about the jinn and I actually hope to write one one day. I have a whole plot and everything set out for it, I just need to actually sit down and finish writing it. But, but for now I will read this and take inspiration and hopefully learn a lot. I am also really excited to bring Scythe by Neil Schusterman, probably said that wrong. 
um, because I do have the first and second book of this and I'm really excited for the third that is coming out. It's, again, it's a book that I recently got for my birthday and so I really want to read it and I've heard so many good things about it. People have been really excited after reading this and really enjoying the series so far and so I want to hop on that bandwagon and see what I think of this book and it's, it's a really interesting idea. It's also good for October and that has to do with the scythe who is obviously like the bringers of death because humans have found a way around death but you know humans really shouldn't live forever and so yeah that's what this book kind of handles where it's an it's a lighter October read so if I don't get to it then it's okay if I save it for like the winter or springtime I won't be super disappointed um but yeah hopefully I can read this one and then when I come home over like Thanksgiving or Christmas or something then I can get the second one and bring it to college and read it but again like I said we'll see moving on to the last book that I'm gonna bring with me to college it is called everything everything by Mikola Yoon I'm bringing this because as you may sit there and be like whoa yes it is a very different genre It's completely different from all the other books I'm bringing with me to college I was so focused on bringing like horror mystery books for well not really horror but bringing mystery books and spooky books for Halloween in October but after October is done there's still the month of November and I just thought I should have something other than like mystery and spooky books to read in college if I just need a break or I need a breather and I don't go to the library which I hope I do go to the library for sure I'm gonna study in the library but if I don't check out other books then at least I'll have everything everything to lighten the mood now, I don't know if that's the right expression to use but to just be something different than all these murder mysteries and monsters and etc and so forth so I am excited to read this I don't really read a lot of contemporary but I'm trying to um, so hopefully I can read this and I can enjoy it. So those are the books I'm going to bring to college and university with me this fall. I leave in just a couple weeks and so I've been very busy and, fr and frantically packing but I already know those were one of the first things I packed is that I packed those books that I'm going to bring with me to college and hopefully read while I'm there in the rest of August, September, October and the first majority of November. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. I do plan on continuing filming in college and hopefully uploading every Thursday or Friday-ish. Um, but yeah, thank you for sticking through it. Please comment down below if you are in college or if you are going to go to college or if you were to go to college, what books you would bring or what books you brought or if you're out of college, what books did you bring or what did you enjoy reading in college if you ever got the spare time or if you really just focused on books that your English classes required you. I'm really interested to know what all you read and what all you brought to college with you. Um, so yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you like any of the books in here. Let me know or if you have read them. Otherwise, you can just like the video and then I'll know if you've read them or if you liked them. And feel free to share this video however you want with other people. I would love it if you know someone who's going to college and is thinking about what books they want to bring. Then share this video. Hopefully it'll help them out. Although mine was very October themed. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I will be doing a lot of filming before I go to college. And I will be doing some more filming there. But it won't be too much longer with these bookshelves. But I will definitely do my best, so please click that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you know when I am uploading again, hopefully every Thursday. But just in case you have a busy life or you don't really keep track of those things, then just hit the bell and you'll get the notification. And then you can decide if you want to continue watching or not. I hope you all have a great start to the school year as you're probably very busy getting ready for it. So yeah, happy reading!